welcome to online lecture series in organic chemistry and we are discussing the molecular orbital theory for the formation of coordination compounds in this video we are going to discuss the formation of hexafluoroferrate 3 ion on the basis of molecular orbital theory so first of all the atomic number of iron it is 26 and its electronic configuration is argon 3d6 4s2 4p0 so in this complex iron is the central atom or ion its oxidation state is plus 3 and its atomic number is 26 and this is the electronic configuration that is 3d6 4s2 and 4p0 as its oxidation state or oxidation state of iron is plus 3 in plus 3 state its electronic configuration becomes 3d5 4h0 4p0 so 3 electrons will be lost by the iron to get Fe3 plus and you know in Fe that is iron in elemental state the number of electrons present in 3d and 4s orbitals are 8 so 8 minus 3 that is 5 so in Fe3 plus only 5 electrons are present in 3d orbital and 2 electrons from 4s orbital and 1 electron from 3d orbital these are lost to get Fe3 plus so this is the electronic configuration of Fe3 plus okay now all together there are 17 electrons available to fill the molecular orbitals of hexafluoroferrate 3 ion there are 17 electrons so 5 electrons these will be contributed by Fe3 plus these 5 electrons and 12 electrons will be contributed by 6 ligands 6 F minus ligands each f minus ligand contribute pair of electron so 2 into 6 that is 12 so two, 12 electrons this will be contributed by 6 ligands so there are 17 electrons now the molecular orbital diagram is here energy increases from bottom to top these are the metal orbitals of Fe3 plus that is 3d 4s and 4p to the right side there are six ligand group orbitals as we discussed in earlier video these are the ligand group orbitals of fluoride summation a summation x summation y summation z summation z square summation x square minus y square these are the ligand group orbitals at the center there are molecular orbitals of hexafluoroferrate 3 ion and these are the molecular orbitals as we discussed earlier that is a1g t1u eg these are the bonding molecular orbitals then t2g these are the non-bonding orbitals eg star a1g star t1u star these are the anti-bonding molecular orbitals now how to fill the electrons now you know in 3d orbital there are five electrons so this is the first electron second third fourth and fifth these are the five electrons present in 3d orbitals of fe3 plus ferric ion and each of the ligand group orbital is completely filled or contain pair of electron so all the ligand group orbitals contain pair of electrons so these are the 12 electrons of six ligands and these are the five electrons of metal ion all together 5 plus 12 that is 6 17 electrons are available to fill the 
बॉन्डिंग एंड बॉन्डिंग नॉन बॉन्डिंग एंड एंटी बॉन्डिंग ऑर्बिटल्स सो वी ट्राई टू फिल दिस सेवेंटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नाउ फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्राई टू एंटर इन और एंटर्स इन सिग्मा एस दैट इज ए वन जी ऑर्बिटल बिकॉज इट हैज द लोएस्ट एनर्जी सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन सेकेंड इलेक्ट्रॉन इट विल पेयर विथ दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन इट सेल्फ बिकॉज दिस इज द नॉन डिजेनरेट ऑर्बिटल और सिंगली डिजेनरेट ऑर्बिटल सो दिस इज द सेकेंड नाउ दिस इज द थर्ड द फोर्थ इलेक्ट्रॉन विल एंटर इन सिग्मा वाई बिकॉज here hans rule of maximum multiplicity is applied there is no pairing unless all the available orbitals of same energy are singly occupied so this is the third fourth and fifth electron now the degenerate orbitals triply degenerate orbitals are now singly occupied now pairing will start this is the sixth electron then seventh and eighth now t1u level it is completely filled now electron enter in eg level so up to this t1u level there are eight electrons so this is the ninth electron and tenth electron 9 10 again hans rule is applied here there is no pairing unless all the available orbitals of equal energy are singly occupied eg orbital it is double degenerate orbitals means two orbitals have equal energy so this is the 10th electron 11 and 12th so these are the 12 electrons these are the bonding electrons preferably comes from ligand i explained in earlier video electrons present in bonding molecular orbital these are coming from ligand group orbitals because bonding molecular orbitals are very close to ligand group orbitals in terms of energy now 13th electron it will enter in non bonding orbital and electrons present in non bonding orbital preferably comes from or purely comes from or these are purely metal electrons so up to eg level there are 12 electrons this is the 13th electron it comes from metal 14th and 15th hans rule of maximum multiplicity is applied over here again so there is no pairing unless all the available orbitals are singly occupied at the same time the value of delta o also matters here the delta o is less it is smaller and therefore electron instead of pairing next electron that is the 16th electron prefer to enter in eg star level rather than to pair up in t2g level because pairing energy it is greater than the delta o or delta o it is less than the pairing energy and therefore the next electron that is the 16th electron it will enter in eg star that is sigma star x square minus y square so this is the 16th and this is the 17th electron so all the 17 electrons are distributed in molecular orbitals these anti bonding or remaining anti bonding orbitals are vacant so here there are five unpaired electrons 1 2 3 3, 3 electrons in t2g level and two unpaired electrons in eg level all together there are five unpaired electrons and therefore this hexafluoroferrate 3 ion this is high spin complex and it is strongly paramagnetic strongly paramagnetic magnetism paramagnetism means when or it depends upon number of unpaired electrons when any complex contain one or more unpaired electrons then complex becomes paramagnetic 
otherwise when all the electrons are paired then complex becomes diamagnetic greater the number of unpaired electron greater is the magnetism so highlighting points about this the complex that is hexafluoroferrite 3 ion is in hexafluoroferrite 3 ion there are 17 electrons 12 electrons from 6 ligands and 5 electrons from ferric ions 12 electrons are filled in 6 bonding molecular orbitals these 12 electrons preferably comes from ligands remaining 5 electrons singly occupied in T2G and EG star orbitals these electrons preferably comes from metal ion due to lesser extent of overlap between EG orbital of metal and ligand group orbital delta O is smaller and finally the hexafluoroferrite 3 ion contain 5 unpaired electrons hence it is high spin strongly paramagnetic complex it is strongly paramagnetic complex so this is about the molecular orbital diagram for hexafluoroferrite 3 ion in next video we are going to discuss the uh, molecular orbital diagram for hexacyanoferrite 3 ion